What's good, guys? If you're looking for cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure I head over my sponsor. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout for the most cheapest, most fastest, most quickest, reliable source on the internet right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K22 My Team video. And guys, today we are going over a couple things, man. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, more likes, more subs. We have 50 likes in this video. We get comments, subs, all that good stuff. Equals a giveaway today. We'll probably run a giveaway either today or tomorrow. As long as we do it with the like goals, comments, get this video to a certain amount of views, we will do giveaways every single week. I know right now 2K isn't the hottest game, but that's just how it goes. And also, if you guys do need MT, any MT, I do have a ton of MT in stock. So if you guys need MT, hit me up, I buy and sell MT. And also, if you're into sports cars, make sure to me up on Instagram and or Twitter. Links down below. And uh, guys, pretty much today, we're just going to go over the market. Um, we did post a pack opening. Go check that out. We're just going to go over the market, man. Um, going to check if the market's crash. I think the market should be crashed. Because from here on out, the market will just continuously crash every single Friday. Um, so what I've been looking at is the Amethyst end. The Amethyst does change the game a lot. Um, I'm honestly really like Pedges to Djokovic. He's going to be one of my main try to snipes because all the new content is what you want to snipe. That's how you're going to make MT. So this glitch Pedja, what's so glitched about him? He's got a dunk. Yeah, he has a 95 driving dunk. So Pedja Stojagovic has got to be really OP. I think he's going to have a ton of snipes up here. Same with all the other Amethyst. There's another Amethyst. I forgot who it is, but he's going to be down in price as well. But um, I think one of the top guys you would like to snipe is going to be my man Pedja right here. He's going for around 17.9. I say his price does drop a little bit. He might be worth the investment, man. This card is pretty OP. It's one of the first players that came out this year. And also, we got to check out the set. So the glitch set has nothing. Matumbo is probably going to be a, a bid because a shooting center is OP. Yeah, he's, he's expensive. 8 3 3 point shot. That's a huge game changer. This guy's going to be very expensive. Pedges to Djokovic and Miles. What about the regular set? There is nothing for the regular set. Oh, another player. Kawhi and Fred Van Fleet. Very affordable players. And I think you're going to be able to get these cards for relatively cheap. So if you guys want, you could run the filter flash filter. That's actually a pretty solid filter. But let's look at Fred Van Fleet. Let's check out his price. I think I'm going to try to scoop him up. He's going to be one of my favorite point guards, I would say. Um... He has a really good defensive overall as well. So he's definitely going to be one of the top point guards in my opinion. So looking at him, 14,000 MT, right around Pedis Djokovic's price. Now we got to check out Kawhi Leonard and see if this filter would actually work out. And right now, guys, the market is crashed. The Amethysts are down. The Rubies are down. Everything is down in value by a lot. So that's really good news for us. We can make a lot of MT. Um, so looking at Kawhi, Kawhi's actually up there in value. He's around 40-ish, late, uh, I think 40-ish, maybe early 40s. 39, wow, yeah, he's he's a little pricey. You're going to have to get a really good snipe on him because you guys have to remember that there's a 10% reduction when you sell cards. So if you get Kawhi Leonard, you got to make sure it's 4K at least less from what you buy it for. But I think he's not a good buy right now. I think his price will eventually drop. Amethyst for 43K. In my opinion, is not worth it at all, even though, yeah, he's probably one of the better defensive players in the game. I don't think his offense could hold up. He's going to be very inconsistent on offense. And in my opinion, at this stage of the game, it's hard because his defense might be good, but you have to realize that pretty much at this stage of the game, everybody else is not that good at defense unless you have a god squad like there's not a lot of good defensive players this early in the game especially playing five on five with a bunch of sapphires and rubies so i kind of would stay away from this card i don't think it's worth it at all for 43k my guy fred van fleet in my opinion though at the point guard position is a great alternative for deron williams and chris paul he's going to be a budget beast for a long time he could shoot from deep and he also has i think he has clamps we're actually going over the badges so this is probably one of my better snipe filters in the game if you guys want you could run Amethyst Flash. This is probably going to be one of the better snipe filters in the game. Yeah, so pretty much that's going to be one of the better snipe filters in the game. Um, looking at it real quick. All right, let's see. So going over the Flash Amethyst, we're going to find out, see what's what's good with it. All right, so he's 13-7, guys. Let's look at his badges. He has Hall of Fame Giant Slayer, which is really good. Pro Touch, Slithery Finisher, Stop and Go. Um, so let's see. Green Machine, Hot Zone Hunter, Hustler. He probably has a good... Clamps at Silver, that's really big. Talus Defender, Handles for Days. 
Clutch shooter, dead eye sniper. Yeah, yeah. This card's a beast. He, yeah, he, he's a beast. He's gonna change your game. Really can't shoot from D, but you know what? He's pretty solid in my opinion. He's gonna be a really good player. He could definitely shoot from a little bit deep with the um, what's it called? Hot zone hunter. So I don't know. I think he's a pretty good player. Especially for the price. I really don't think you could go wrong for this price. Fred Van Fleet is a god. Um, so Fred Van Fleet, Amethyst Flash. If you guys want, run this. Pedrisa Jagovic could pop up. Kawhi Leonard could pop up. This is probably going to be one of your better snipe filters. Next. Next snipe filter, guys. Um, market Crash is here, so I'm going Ruby. I'm going Ruby cheapest, guys. This filter is going to be goaded. Um, James Worthy, though, is going to ruin it, isn't he? All right. You can still run it. Manu Ginobili is probably pretty much down in price by a lot. You just got to know what you're getting into. I would honestly just stay away from James Worthy. You just got to know who you're buying. James Worthy could be a solid investment. He's not the best at shooting, but he's definitely not the worst. So if you guys want, Doug West is pretty solid too. Um, honestly, just keep refreshing on this filter. You never know what's going to pop up. Pretty solid filter overall. You could make some money off this market crash. The market is down a lot. There is a huge market crash right now. Um, the rubies are down in half. The other uh, two days ago, the rubies were at five uh, five k to six k, so they're clearly down a ton. Um, we just got Chris coming. All right, then we got amethyst, and let's check out what the amethysts are at. I think the amethysts are around seven eight k. You obviously want to get them for a little bit cheaper. Spencer Haywood. Whoa! All oh, my controller died. Oh, rip. We got to change the batteries. All right. So looking at the Amethyst, man, add, add a refresh real quick. Rick Barry, 6,900. Elvin Hayes, 6,900. You just got to know who you're buying, who you're getting into. Oh, that's a good snipe right there. Calvin Murphy, 5,200. And we got it. So Calvin Murphy's going for 6,900. We just got him for 5,200. The snipes are going to be hot today, boys. Oh, what we just get? We just got something on the auction house for free. So... That's cool. So we just got that. For, we got to make our MT back, guys. We have a lot to do. We have to sell some players. We got to make some moves. Because that pack opening really screwed me up. Like, really badly. Um, this James Worthy. The Duncan Robinson is definitely usable. James Worthy is definitely usable. We got to see what's going on, man. The market's a disaster right now. We got to make MT. Let's see what reward we got, though. But those are pretty much my top snipe filters as of right now. Like, those are going to be the best snipe filters in the game. Um, and also, I want to know if you guys, did you guys get good stuff in your promo packs? Because I got nothing but golds. Um, it was pretty tough to tough to see that, but let's check. I think the Amethyst filter and the Ruby filter is going to be the hottest today. Um, you really don't know what's going to pop up. It could be Kawhi Leonard. It could be Kenyon Martin. Also, another player. Not Kenyon Martin. Kevin Martin. He was a cool player I actually pulled. There's a lot of good players. Pretty much this whole set. Just continuously snipe this set out. You'll make a lot of MT. Darius Miles is a good player as well. And he's glitched. So definitely try this out. Let me know how it works out. Um, that's really going to be it for the video. I wish I pulled some diamonds. I really, really do wish. And we're just going to check Derek Rose's price quick. Let's just go diamond. Let's see what these prices are at. Yeah, so Tim Duncan and Chris Paul are the only buyout diamonds as of right now. But you'll see. There'll be a lot of snipes coming up soon. But yo, that's all we got. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Have a good one. Peace.